Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the time has come. I am going to be doing a first impressions slash review slash get ready with me video with Fenty Beauty. Um, I did pick up the foundation and then the highlighter, the kilowatts in Trophy Wife. My foundation color that I decided to go with is 210. Um, it's got this beautiful packaging here, a nice frosted bottle, great pump, and I like that it uh, tells you to always shake the product, um, so that way you're ready to go. I do think uh, this will be a good color shade for me. I went with a neutral tone, as where I normally go with a yellow undertone, just to be safe, because everyone's saying it's oxidizing, and I will let you know about that. All right, so let's start my video out with, obviously, I have some... Uh, skin problems happening to say the least. So we're going to start with doing a little bit of concealer correctors with the Makeup Forever. This is actually the cream camouflage number one. We're going to start with the green color here because I went on vacation and my face has officially decided to just not go with the program. So we're gonna hide these a little bit because it just needs to be done. I don't always do color correction. Most of the time I don't, but I think it's only fair for testing out a new foundation that it gets the best chance without being interrupted by something that's normally not always on my face or normally a problem. So we'll just cover that little beautiful breakout situations happening here on my face. I'm not gonna cover them all, just the ones that I think are very uh, noticeable and will probably need that extra step. So, okay, green color correction is on. Now we're gonna move on to under eye correction. We're gonna use Makeup Forever. It's the cream camouflage in number three. We're gonna use this beautiful kind of uh, orange peach color. I just take the same brush. I do get so little on that brush. Everyone always asks me, oh, how do you do this? Um, I just kind of swipe it under my eyes as I do have my eyeshadow already on. That video will be up next week. So if you like what I got going here, it's inspired by subculture, but it is not the subculture palette. Um, let, uh, let me know in the comments below. If there's other looks that you would like to see, I would be happy to make that happen for you guys. All right, so we're just blending this out so I look a little less crazy. I always make it real sharp with my eyeshadow. Makes life a little bit easier. Okay, I already look a little bit better. Maybe a little crazy, but a little bit better. Um, again, I just like to use like a synthetic brush for that, something that cleans up really easy. I am using the Wet n Wild one, testing those out at the moment. Um, I am going to put my foundation on this metal palette. I don't want it to reflect at you guys too much, so I am going to keep it here on my desk. I'm going to shake up the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Longwear Foundation. Woo! It's a mouthful. I am going to use with this particular foundation. It is the Pro Airbrush uh, from Sephora number 55. Okay, I think it's shook up nice and good. I'm gonna do one pump on my palette here. Okay, two pumps so I could get anything out of it. There's my shade. I like to start with like really thin coats. So do a dot on each side of the face and keep moving. Everyone is saying that this foundation is drying really quickly. Whatever's left in the brush, do my forehead. I like a more natural looking finish, so that's why I prefer to do the layers. Go back in. Here we go with some coverage. 
looking pretty good. It's still not 100% concealing my acne situation, which is to be expected. It's extra bad today. But on the side that doesn't have a bunch of breakouts, it actually is looking beautiful, just like skin, but better. It's left on the palette. I will do on my forehead. It's kind of crazy. This foundation on your face, it feels like weightless. There's not, like nothing on your face, but it also feels soft while being applied. So far the color is looking pretty good. I'm not oxidizing too much. It is a little bit hot in here, so if I look a little red, that is why. I did also get way too much sun on vacation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do another pump. Um, that was two pumps so far on my entire face. This will be three, which I don't feel like it's a ton of product, but I do feel like it might be more product than what most people who like a light to medium coverage would want. But I want to build it and see what it looks like. On my Instagram, I will be posting before, uh, you know, when the foundation is done, you know, starting fresh. And then I will post an after uh, several, several hours later, kind of like a check in on how the foundation's doing. I am combination skin, uh, so we will see how this holds up throughout the day. It's looking, I'm going to get a little closer for you guys, it's looking pretty good considering the fact that I have quite a few breakouts and then um, to clear up the breakouts I am drying my skin out a little bit so I do got some dry patches as well still looking good though pretty nice coverage um, I will wear concealer just cuz that's how I roll um, I don't like a whole lot of foundation on my nose for some reason foundation tons of it on my nose always looks cakey So, all right, it's looking pretty good. I'm just debating if I want to do one more layer so I can get more of that full look or if I'm happy with this consistency. I feel like because I'm using more of an airbrush brush, it's spreading the product out really far. Um, and I don't know, I mean, my face looks pretty nice. I don't know if that's translating on camera very well, but it definitely looks fabulous in person. We're gonna do one more pump because I just can't seem to help myself. So we're probably at a good, okay, so we're at four pumps of foundation. And I would say we're at a strong, medium, full coverage. Pretty pleased with it. It's definitely more foundation than I wear on the regular, but I do want to see uh, how it performs with a few coats on. All right, what's left on the palette, I will just put on my forehead because I didn't do very much product on my palette uh, on my forehead because I don't like my forehead to look cakey and being combo skin, the forehead tends to look that way. When you get into my hairline. <laughs> Letting it down the neck just because everyone says it oxidizes and I don't want to get halfway through my foundation um, routine and realize that everyone's right and it has oxidized. Okay, so that is 
pretty great coverage. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see before I do my concealer. So this is what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty beautiful on the skin. Looks just like skin that matches great. Uh, not, not too light, not too dark. It's looking good right now. Um, obviously my chest has more color, but normally I don't have this much color. So I'm actually happy with the match. It's kind of crazy because it kind of feels like it's already setting, which I don't know is a good thing or not. So yeah, Fenty foundation, uh, pretty cool stuff. I'm liking it so far. Feels weightless on the face, which I love. I will say it is gathering around my nose and in my smile lines. I don't know if you guys can see that. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. I mean, my forehead looks pretty smooth. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna move on. I am gonna do some powder. I know everyone says you do not have to set this, but I set everything, so I will set it uh, once I get a chance. I will do more concealer. I wasn't going to, but under my eyes just looks a little, I just look a little too tired, so. I'm gonna take the Naked Skin Concealer. We're gonna blend that baby out. Gotta make me look more awake, like I get lots of sleep. Make your line nice and crisp. Just blending. I was kinda hoping I wouldn't have to use concealer, but it's all right. Gotta do what we gotta do. Almost done blending. Story of my life. <laughs> you guys ever feel like that when you're blending? It's just going to keep going and keep going. I know I do. If there's any extra product on the brush, I just kind of put it wherever I think I need it. Make sure my eyeshadow is nice and crisp. Go back in and play with that before I'm done. Okay, a little on my nose, because who doesn't need highlighting, right? Blended, perfect. Um, make sure I cover this bad boy up a little bit better. All right, so that is foundation and concealer. So far, um, to the touch, the foundation feels really good. It almost feels like it's set, which is like I said, a little strange for me. I'm still gonna start with powder regardless because that's just how I do it. Um, I think if you're someone who's dry, you definitely not wanna start with powder because I mean, it's pretty much already set into place and it feels good, nice and velvety. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to. I'm setting with my favorite powder. It's translucent French vanilla brightening powder by Besame. Um, I like to make my skin look really bright and glowy with this product, um, or over highlighted, I guess you would say. I love it. So I'm going to do under my eyes and just lightly on the face because I don't think this product really needs a whole lot of setting. Go back to my other eye. Normally, I like to pack this under my eye with a puff, but because this foundation already feels pretty well set, I don't feel the need to do that. All right, I look nice and glowy. <laughs> Love this powder. If you guys haven't tried the Bissame French Vanilla Translucent Powder, you are missing out. I'm lucky enough with my skin tone that this works as a powder. I do have other 
translucent powders like for Makeup Forever and stuff that I'll use, but I've just been favoring this one lately and it smells like French vanilla, so what's not to like? Okay, so those items are on. I still feel weird that it's not like, I don't know. Not sure, I feel like now it's looking a little more doll-like instead of dewy finish, I guess. I'm gonna go back in with a Kat Von D brush and yes, I do put my highlighting powder under my eyes again. I realize for some people this step may seem a little bit overdone, but you can never look too awake. And for me, it just makes all the difference in the world, so. Okay, and I am using uh, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Um, as you can see, this guy has Definitely got some use and could potentially be on his last legs. I will be getting another one. I like to mix these two colors. You can see they're both pretty, pretty used up. I like to use the middle shade and the cooler shade as my contour. I prefer more of a heavier contour. I know not everyone is into that. Um, so this step may not be necessary for you. When I do contour the way, an easy way to remember how to do it is, I call it the easy three. So it's like you're literally drawing a three on your face, um, basically using most of the product from the top of the ear to the hollow of the cheek. Um, everyone has their own technique of how they like to do their contour or tips and tricks to help you remember where it goes. <laughs> But this is what I think is the easiest way to teach someone who's never done it before. Again, I'm going back and forth in both pans. I know you guys can't see that because I'm doing it on my table, but that is what's happening. If you have a favorite shade that you like to do, then definitely use that. You don't have to use the shade and light highlight and contour palette, but I definitely think it is the best on the market and I've tried quite a few but this is my go-to every day um, also that's the reason why I didn't get the Fenty Beauty highlight and contour sticks I don't really like stick contour and highlight um, they do look lovely however but I'm sure there's plenty of other people who are going to review those products for you um, I just didn't think it was necessary as I won't use them and why buy stuff that I'm not going to continue using when I have so many options of makeup that I could use. Okay, so highlighting and contouring is done. I do like to do an additional step of where I use a limited edition palette um, from Buxom. I use their bronzer that they do sell separately on top of my contour. Not everyone likes to do the double step. I think the double steps necessary especially because my body is very tan right now and my face is not do it in the same places some people like to do the nose as well I do not like contour or bronzing on my nose I feel like it just makes me look a little bit dirty or ruddy but if that's something you like then you go ahead and do that honey all right, blending down the neck so I look seamless. And so my beautiful fresh tan that I got on vacation looks great with my very pale face. <laughs> then I like to use another shiny highlighter under the eyes. Um, again, this is an additional step that I like to do. You do not have to do this whatsoever. Most people feel like they don't notice it enough to do it. For me, I think it just adds a little something extra. Makes me look awake. We are still going to use the Fenty highlighter. I use that on top of all of this stuff. So if you're someone who's like, oh my gosh, this girl's got tons of stuff on her face, it does seem that way. Um, but in all actuality, there's not very much stuff on my face. I am gonna take a blank brush and just kind of blend a little bit better here. So I'm not adding any product. 
perfect just because I like to clean up my edges moving on we're gonna do blush I'm gonna go with in, the in stain blushes from the bomb this particular color is called Swiss dot uh, I'm gonna go with orange because our Fenty highlighter and trophy wife is kind of a true gold I like to use a rounded blush brush I believe this one's Mac but whichever you have will work like to blend my contour and bronzer together with my blush. This blush is very potent, so if you're someone who likes more of a light colored blush or you don't want to have as much blush on, probably these are not the products for you. But for me, I love them because they will stay on all day. If you do them light handed, you'll get a lighter application, of course. But I want my blush to be seen all day long. And this is the blush that does it for me. Again, I, the other brush I was using had no product. And I don't dip back into my blush. I only do it one coat. And then moving on. All right, so now I'm down to the very exciting stuff which will be the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighters. Um, so this is what they look like. I'm sure everybody's showing you this packaging. It has kind of a hexagon honeycomb shape. Um, the package in person is actually really pretty. I know some people were saying they thought it would look cheap. I don't think so. It's like a white iridescent sparkly um, plastic, but I like it. So they open up and look like this. I don't want to blind you guys, but that is the highlighter right there and this is trophy wife it is very glittery so if you're someone who does not like a glitter highlighter uh, this will not be for you um, I'm the complete opposite the more glitter the better so that's where I'm at I am using the Anastasia a 23 brush for my highlighter and we are gonna dip in to that I like to use very little product with this highlighter at first just because it is so glittery it tends to build up rather fast okay so that's just one coat as you can see it's almost like sheer like a pigment with glitter on the face let's do the other side Because there is so much glitter on this product it tends to like move a little bit more than I'd like it is beautiful though and it's a very unique color okay so that is one coat so for the people who don't want a crazy insane highlighter this would be where you'd stop so I've only worn this highlighter one day. I wore it yesterday and I wore it with two coats without any makeup setting spray on it. So I am actually gonna spray my brush with makeup setting spray. I'm gonna use what I have on hand, which is the makeup setting spray from Scandinavia. This is the bridal one. Um, I prefer to set my face with the all nighter one, but we're gonna use this one on my brush to see how that changes the product. Again, dip in very little because I know this has a lot of payoff okay so with this particular product I do like it a little bit better with makeup setting spray on your brush you get a little more even application it's a little less sheer and then you don't have to build up so many layers yesterday I think I had three layers on which may seem insane to the rest of you but for me it felt so right um, but definitely if you're going to use this, use a makeup setting spray on your brush just because it is pretty much just glitter uh, pigment on the face. I do, however, really like the color. Look at that. It is insanely gold and sparkly and beautiful. Do my news just a little bit. <laughs> Look a little crazy in that monitor. Make sure they match. Ooh. 
I love this. I really do think it's beautiful. I do not think this highlighter is for everyone, not necessarily because of the shade, like the color of it. I, I do think the color itself is universal, but my issue with the product is that it's actually a little bit glittery uh, and it does feel like loose glitter on the face, which can kind of be not everyone's cup of tea. I know there's a lot of people who like more subtle highlighters. I am obviously not that person. I like to take another brush and just clean up under my eyes because it is kind of a looser glitter. Make sure that it's not everywhere. Like I just, I'm ready for a festival. So that is kind of that. That's a, the Trophy Wife and this is Fenty Beauty. Um, my overall review as of right now, it's wearing really nice, the foundation. I think the foundation is absolutely beautiful. I think everybody else will really enjoy this foundation. I'll have to do a check-in to see how long it lasts, but I will do that later. But it, overall, it looks like it looks like my skin, but just better, the best skin I can have. As far as the highlighter, I like this kind of overdone thing, but I do think a lot of people are gonna get it and think it's gonna be, um, more like a full colored pit a full color pigment as where it's more like a glitter fleck literally looks like liquid gold on the face like pieces of gold um so you may or may not like that but i don't mind it i like it i definitely think if you don't have a gold highlighter um and you love glitter this would be the one for you i'm still not 100 percent sure if i need this in my life or if i just liked it and i wanted it so that's why i got it um, let's move on to one of the last steps of the day. I'm going to put my mascara on and then we can put some lipstick on and call it a day. Gonna just do a little bit of mascara because I may want to do some lashes, but I will do that off camera for my pictures. Or I don't know, we'll see. Looks pretty good just the way it is. And I'm gonna grab a neutral lip shade. I'm gonna go with Good Old Prairie, which is my favorite by Lime Crime. This is their Velveteen Liquid Lipsticks. I'm gonna do one coat of that color and then I think it's a little too pink so let's try something with more of a peach undertone let's do Sasha I like to mix these colors quite often there we go Sasha is giving us the right amount of color as nude lipstick is kind of my favorite thing nude but with some color behind it so I don't look like I don't have lips okay and I like to make sure I like press in my lime crime liquid lipstick so that way they don't leak out or anything happens to them but I mix these two colors I mixed Prairie and Sasha and I think this is gonna complete this look I am going to set it with makeup setting spray as I do want this look to last all day Ah. Okay, and my final thoughts are definitely get the foundation. It is amazing. Um, Kendo teamed up with Rihanna to make Fendi Beauty, and they also do Kat Von D and Marc Jacobs. Um, I love both of those foundations as well, and I definitely think the Fenty foundation is amazing. I do like the wide color range. The color does oxidize quite a bit, so please, please, please get at least a shade or two lighter than what you expected to get. 
Um, as far as the kilowatt highlighters, I don't know, I've got a lot of other highlighters I like a little bit better, so I might skip that, but the foundation, if you can get your hands on it, definitely think it's worth your money. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.